Excuse me. I don't drink. Have we met? No, but I've been watching you. Following your career, I mean. You are Dr. Isabel Mao. Most talented chemist in the German army. I am a fan. I hope I'm not crossing a line. I know you and General Ludendorff are very close. We work well together. Yes. But having someone like me behind you, I could provide a lot more. And who are you? A man who would show you the appreciation a genius like yourself deserves. I love fire, don't you? It is like... a living act of entropy. The ultimate weapon of destruction. Reminding us that in the end, everything eventually returns to the ash it came from. There is something reassuring about it. All of that in your eyes. Perhaps you could show me what you're working on. I hear it is. I hear it is extraordinary. I appreciate your interest in my work, but I am loyal to General Ludendorff. Besides, now I see your attention is... <laughs> elsewhere. I confess I'm not sure what it is we're celebrating. A German victory, of course. Victory? When I hear peace could be so close. Peace is only an armistice in an endless war. If you say it is. Ah, you know your ancient Greeks. They understood that war is a god. A god that requires human sacrifice in an exchange. War gives man purpose, meaning a chance to rise above his petty, mortal little self and be courageous, noble, better. Only one of the many gods believed in that. Hmm. And he was wrong. You know nothing of the gods. Hey, General. Enjoy the fireworks. What are you doing? Out of my way. Diana, look at me. If you kill Ludendorff before we find the gas, we won't be able to stop anything. I will stop Ares. What if you're wrong? What if there is no Ares? You don't believe me. I can't let you do this. What I do is not up to you. Ugh. 